Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to another What's for Dinner video. I have got some easy and delicious weeknight meals to share with you guys. This is actually a combination between two weeks. I was not able to get a What's for Dinner video up last Sunday because we were out of town. So we did miss a few nights at home cooking. So I just kind of combined what recipes I do have within the past two weeks. So I hope you guys enjoy. For the first recipe, we are doing some burrito bowls. I have just marinated my chicken for a few hours. I have got a couple chicken breasts and a few chicken tenders. I know that's random, but I'm using what I have. <laughs> um, I have just marinated that with some olive oil, a little bit of water, and some fajita dry seasoning. I'll share the package in just a second, but I just let that marinate for a few hours just to kind of soak in all that flavor. And then I'm just going to cook it up on the stove top. So for our burrito bowls, we have got some black beans. I have just heated those up with a little bit of taco seasoning. Also have a can of corn. We have got the salsa minute rice. I'll have that recipe linked down below for you guys. I've shared that several times on my channel. We've got some salsa, some black olives, some shredded cheese, some sour cream and some cheese dip that I picked up at the grocery store. Y'all know I can't find my Sam's Club cheese dip. And then there is all the chicken and I just cut it up, add everything on top of the rice and put some sour cream and some of that queso on top and this was delicious. Next up, we've got mushroom onion Salisbury steaks with the crock pot mashed potatoes. I shared this recipe in Monday's crock pot video, so I will have it linked down below for you guys. This was last Monday. <laughs> I'll have it linked. It was so delicious and it was amazing. And then we've got the cheesy broccoli chicken and rice. This was also a part of that crock pot video from this past Monday. This was so good. I made this recipe up and it was amazing. Luke was in the mood to grill some shoulder. So he just stopped at the store and picked that up on his way home from work. He seasoned it up with some of that new um, we got some new seasoning when we went to Alabama. This is the rub a butt seasoning. <laughs> we also had the uh, Koneka and we did some hot dogs, of course, for Winston. <laughs> um, that Koneka we got at um, in Alabama as well. That's not something that we can get local to us. Um, so we always pick up a bunch whenever we go to Alabama. And that seasoning that he put on the pork I will try to find a link for it because it was so good. Um, Y'all need that in your life. And if you're local to Alabama or just in that area, try and see if you can find it. Um, I just served it with one of those box Parmesan cheese noodles. And then I also did some roasted veggies. I just did carrots and uh, some Brussels sprouts. And I do, when I do the Brussels sprouts, if they're frozen, I leave them frozen. They roast up just fine. Y'all can see at the end, um, the moisture of them being frozen doesn't, it doesn't do anything um, but I just do some olive oil I do some balsamic vinegar and then I did some of that Dano's original which y'all that's Kentucky proud ooh, ooh. Yeah. and I also did some salt and pepper And I just roasted those in the oven at 425 until the carrots were fork tender.
here is the barbecue sauce that he put on the pork shoulder we also picked this up in alabama and they do have a website so i will have the website linked down below this barbecue sauce is so good we got two bottles of it and luke said he wishes that he had a cup more good thing we can buy it on their website Here is everything when it's all done. Oh, y'all, it was so good. I don't know what it is about grilled food, even in the winter time when it's freezing cold outside or snowing. It's just so good. Here is my plate. I just have some of the roasted veggies and the noodles. Next up is creamy beef and shells. The recipe inspiration for this came from Pinterest, so I'll have that recipe linked down below. But y'all know me, when I do recipes, I do them easy. I want shortcuts and I want like, especially if it's a one pot dinner. So I turned this recipe into a one pot dinner and it was amazing. I have got a pound and a half of ground beef. I have seasoned it up and I have also added in some onion. Cooked that up, drained the grease. Now I'm adding in a can of tomato sauce. That was a 15 ounce can. And then the recipe called for beef broth, which like y'all know me, I always have water in the cubes. I've got three cups of beef broth there. And I'm telling y'all the ingredients, the recipe, the, my measurements because I completely changed the recipe. Also added in two cups of milk. And then I added about three fourths of a cup of those medium shells. Like I said, the full, re the recipe that the inspiration come from will be linked in the description box for you guys but i totally changed it they had you cooking the pasta separate they had different measurements they had you making a roux and all that and i'm like uh no we're gonna do this easy <laughs> so i just pressed the pasta down i also added in some garlic powder salt and pepper and then you're just gonna cook that up just it's kind of like a ham you're just making like hamburger helper pretty much it's, that's exactly what this is um so you're just going to cook up your pasta and then we will add in a, a container of whipped cream cheese. Here is what it looks like once the pasta is done. It is all thickened up and it was so good. And then now you're just gonna add in, I added in that whole eight ounce packet of the uh, whipped or cream cheese spread. <laughs> I just mix that in and let it all melt together. And I'm telling y'all, this was so good. Um, the boys really liked it. Winston killed it. It was good. So glad I got the inspiration from that recipe. But like I said, I want simple dinners at nighttime and this is definitely simple and delicious. I just served it with some corn and some garlic bread. got another easy crock pot recipe for you guys beefy vegetable soup I will be sharing this in tomorrow's video I know I've shared it many times on my channel but I'm gonna share it again because it's delicious but we just served it with some grilled cheese and it was so good
loaded pulled pork baked potatoes. Do I need to say any more? These are amazing. <laughs> I have got six good sized potatoes. I have washed them very well. I'm going to give them a rub down with some olive oil and also give them a sprinkle with the coarse salt. I have got my oven preheated at 400 and I don't poke holes in my potatoes. This is one of the things I learned in culinary school. Um, as long as you give them a good rub down with some salt and um, I know I've had controversy on this because I've shared this before on my channel. Your kitchen, your rolls, you do you. But I do like to share my tips and tricks that I have learned in the past in culinary school. Um, and so I don't poke my potatoes. If you poke your potatoes, it releases the steam and it can make it releases the steam from inside the potatoes and it can make your potatoes gummy and it also um, doesn't help getting a nice crunchy skin on the outside. I just put them directly on to the oven rack and I cook them for about 30 to 40 minutes or until they're done. For the pulled pork I'm just using this Members Mark pulled pork. I absolutely love this. I just follow the directions for microwaving it and it is so easy just to heat it up and then once your potatoes are all done you just get out your toppings and it is so easy and y'all these are delicious we have got a couple barbecue options these are some of our favorites and then we also have some sour cream some shredded cheese and then I heated up a pack of that Velveeta cheese sauce and then I got my big thing of bacon bits from Sands Club and what I do is I just portion them out into two cup portions and then I freeze those and then I have one left in the fridge and it helps them last longer and I just pull them out as needed. So for my potato I just cut it open, put some butter, some salt and pepper in there and then I just load it up, put everything on there and y'all this is one of the to me this is comfort <laughs> like this is my southern comfort food I love this Just look at that. It's delicious. For the last recipe on this video, my mom is cooking. <laughs> Everybody say hi to my mom. She was nervous. Um, I told her I was just going to do a voiceover. But she is making Southwest chicken packets. Y'all, these were bomb. So good. So she has just thawed out some chicken breasts. She cut some slits in there just so the seasoning and all the flavor can kind of get down in the chicken. She is topping the chicken with a black bean, corn, and taco season packet mixture. She is also going to add on some rotel. You can definitely mix the rotel in with the corn and the black beans if you want to. She also added on some chopped bell pepper and she just put them in little foil packets and then cooked them up um, she said you could do those at 400 for about 30 minutes you just want to make sure that your chicken reaches the internal temperature of 165 once your chicken is cooked through you will top it with some cheese she used colby and monterey jack but you can use whatever you like and then she wrapped them back up and put them back in there for about five to ten minutes you're just melting your cheese since your chicken and everything's cooked through here 
here is what it looks like when it is all done. We served it with some sour cream on top. We also had some salsa minute rice. And then we had some cheese dip and some chips. And y'all, this was so good. You definitely need to try this. It is so easy and it's one of those like perfect throw together, easy cleanup dinners. And that is it y'all. I really hope you enjoyed this what's for dinner video. Hope it gave you some inspiration to cook more for your family at home. Just remember, it doesn't have to be fancy just as long as your family is fed. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.